if you wanted to get something like this, there's a big one. I actually have it. Um, I was going to be selling um, packages with the uh, scanner. Um, I've got, um, in fact, let me show that to you. So I've got, um, so here it is. This is the newer version of this, of my scanner, which you can't really get this anymore. Um, this is a Think Diag. So this one um, will work with um, basically the same way I use this. This is actually a bit faster um, than the, this older model. Um, and um, it works with this tablet. This is actually for sale. I'll be offering different packages. But I believe the software license updates is for either one year or two years. Uh, don't quote me on that. I'll put a link. And if you're interested in this software, software platform, uh, follow the link and you can purchase this from us. And you are supporting the channel by um, purchasing any of these things using our affiliate links. I will say uh, on the pros and cons, um, customers, they actually want to see the traditional big, huge, you know, carrying case with the IM608 and things like that to think that, oh, this guy has the tools. Oh, he knows what he's doing. Uh, but I just tell him the truth. I just tell him, hey, man, uh, I'm not a dinosaur. I don't carry those big things like that or really use them. I'm from the future. You know, my thing is this small and I do it all on my phone. Everything that you can do on that, you know, big old thing. To, because to be honest, guys, think about it. <clears throat> Everything you can do on any scan, I don't care what it is. Let's say if it's in the Altel elite or whatever model that you think is the best one right that's all software okay those are all running on android platforms right like just like your phone if you have a samsung or a android phone is the same thing okay i come from it right said so that stuff is all software on an android platform you can take that same software whatever scanner you think it is the most incredible whatever those specs or whatever you can find specs just fine enough to run uh right on your your phone right the only difference would be screen real estate if that application was formatted different i'm from the programming side it this is stuff that i do so i know um and you would then be able to and that dongle or whatever your vci it connects bluetooth most likely to that um or uh something like that or usb to um to that scanner you can just bluetooth connect to your phone it's the exact same thing don't let them fool you and tell you oh this scanner is so big it has all these specs trust me it would run just fine on your phone um or anything like that these phones are very advanced they uh they're just as powerful as uh you know the pretty much the processors or whatever and anyway this stuff is not such heavy duty that uh that you're going to do with a scanner any type of uh software on any altel or whatever platform that even takes so much power it's there's this stuff is all basic stuff just basic commands it sends and receives uh to the dongle or the vci that's it so don't be fooled by um you know, uh, specs of tablets and this kind of stuff. It, it's not, um, it's not really necessary for this platform. Now, if it was a, you know, triple a game, that's something different that requires horsepower and things to produce those graphics. But anything these scanners are going to do, send and receive commands. It's, it's Mickey mouse stuff, man. Uh, uh, a PC from, you know, 1995 would be able to do those, those commands and everything just fine. Another tool I almost forgot is um i'm going to show you the tablet here in a second by the way is this this always stays on my in my pocket right on the side like this just pull it out quick and i've always got a uh sharp tool with me everywhere i go this this is actually like my fifth one because i prize so much of these sometimes i'm just in a rush and a quick and i've snapped the tip on so many of them this is probably like my fifth one um i usually have the black model but this is the kershaw clash um and it's quick release blade you just hit it right there and it pops out just like that uh you can see the model i believe it's the c there it is 16 05 ST, right? Um, I love this knife, man. The clip is strong, it's good, never have any issues. Quick release, and also I cut, uh, you can cut certain things right here with the serrated part. Um, of course, you can see this one's been through some stuff too already. Um, and uh, it's just handy, man. You can cut wires, peel wires, whatever you need to do. All right, another tool I keep in my trunk. Uh, we're gonna come back to the tablet in a bit is this um this video got a lot longer than i thought it would um so i'm gonna have to make a part two um so that'll have 
the bigger things that I don't really carry around with me, but they're with me in the vehicle. This is my um, uh, multimeter. Even though you have tools like this, you still need a standing multimeter uh, every now and then to verify readings and check resistance and things like that. And this is a handy one that I prefer. You can see the model number right there um, because it also has an amp clamp. So every now and then I can just do a quick reading, um, you know, of a battery drain and different things like that with the amp clamp. Um, so yeah, this is one of the reasons why I choose this model. Also, if you notice here, um, I got my backpack and this looks like probably my lunch or whatnot. Um, but I carry this um, lunch bag or, or whatnot with me on purpose. Uh, actually, what's in here is I keep IM608. Anytime I have to do um, key, pro key programming and in there is the VCI. I just pull out the cable. I actually never pull it out of the bag. So I just pull out the connector, connect it up, and then I do whatever I have to do. Um, and it also has a USB cable in case I have to do programming with my laptop. And I feel like using this VCI, there's a USB cable in here as well connected to the VCI. Um, and I keep it in this bag for a reason. Um, I'm always conscious of people. Sometimes I have this in my front seat, you know, in the passenger seat or something like that. And you always got to be conscious with your surroundings. So, I mean, if a thief walks by and he sees this in your passenger seat or he sees this, to me, a thief looks at this as possibly lunch, maybe bananas. And this could be a million dollars, you know. So a thief would more likely go for this instead of that. So that's the reason why my IM608 stays in this, you know. I keep this in my back, in my trunk where it's not really seen. Um, and if I have to pull it out when I need to do programming, this is my tool of choice. I've got a Panasonic Tough Book. And let me show you. Uh, this is the CFC2. Um, and uh, it has all the options I need. As you can see, USB ports. Um, I've got uh, two batteries in here. Well, it has one battery in it, but I have it's hot swappable, and um, I have multiple batteries. Um, it's very cheap. Uh, it's touchscreen as well. It can be held like this. You can flip it and use it just like a tablet as well if you wanted to. It's full Windows. Um, the hard drive also is hot swappable. Uh, well, not hot swappable, but swappable. So, in fact, I've got like three exactly of these. I get them cheap. I look for them whenever they go really cheap. Let's say I, I, the cheapest one I got was actually this one. It was 30 bucks, you know, used, right? Um, so what I did when I got it, the reason I, I, I keep them is because in case anything happens, like it's spill or something, I always keep a backup of my hard drive. My hard drive image is unique for the things that I do. Um, I, like I said, I'll go into that on a second video. This video is way too long now, but I just hit this uh, switch right here and I can just pull out the battery, put in another one or this one and take out the hard drive as well and put it into another laptop and just turn it on and it's my same computer, same image, all my stuff is there. So one day <clears throat> I brought in my laptop to charge overnight and uh, when I tried to turn it on, it turned on and shut off and it wouldn't come back on. So I thought it was some weird software glitch. And the more I played with it, I realized it was something hardware. And I didn't feel like disassembling the laptop and trying to repair it, diagnose it at the time. I had another one. So all I did, I swapped this, put in the hard drive and the battery, and that's it. And I've you've been using it ever since. This one is 30 bucks. I got another one too. So I keep like two or three of these. I mean, you don't need two or three, but at least one extra one, right? Just in case at, at 30 bucks. Uh, you know, you can't beat it. This does every single thing I need to do. I believe it's got, uh, the hard drive I got is a one terabyte hard drive in there and it's got, uh, I believe eight gigs of Ram. So that's fine for me to do anything I need to do. I do all my SPS programming. Um, my, uh, uh, BMW, I've got all the original BMW software. There's the Zentry software, the Ford IDS. I've got, I've got everything. 
every single, pretty much every single platform I've got it on here. And uh, I'm also going to be offering that to those subscribers that donated. There's more packages coming with the different softwares. Let me power this thing up. All right. I just powered it up just to show you. I've got GDS2. I've got Mazda IDS. I've got uh, the Haynes Pro. That's a uh, software I keep for scan. Um, Honda IDS uh, Focus. Um, the Jaguar software. Uh, I've got on demand. I've got that's... Um, you know, diagnostics tools, Ultramate. I've got Consult for Nissan. I've got the Toyota Tech Stream. I got the Nissan J2532 tools, um, Y-Tech. Um, like I said, and oh, on this side, I've got my BMW ESIS. I've got um, it's the I've got, um, you know, everything that I need on the BMW side. The only one I don't have here, I believe, is the Mercedes one, but it might be on here. I just haven't used it that much on this laptop. And I've even got IDS, Ford IDS on here. Um, so everything I got to do, um, I've got all data on here as well. I, everything I got to do, I, I can I can do from this laptop. And like I said, if anything, I just pull out the hard drive, pull out the battery, put it in another one and go, you know. Or if the battery's dead, I keep a spare battery right here. So I've always got a backup battery. I could just swap it out. It's hot swappable. Um, I recommend this if uh, you're into something small, portable like this. And like I said, it's also touch, you know, um, so I definitely I love it. And like I said, 30 bucks that I got this back up for, uh, it's definitely worth it for me. Um, you're not probably going to find them really for 30 bucks. They might have little issues like this little, uh, I don't care about this. The little plastic deal came off. I've got them and I don't even care. It doesn't do anything. The little bumper. Um, but that's it. You know, it, it works for what I need it to do. It's a tool and it gets the job done. It's efficient and I love it. This is another thing I keep in the backpack. Um, it's a, uh, IR thermometer. You can get these very cheap. I'll have a link also. Um, and you know, you can, uh, pretty much get a reading if you need to check if something is overheating the temperature of the engine coolant test between the hoses and the, you know, and see if something, an issue is going on there. Um, it's very handy for that. Uh, it works fine, very cheap and efficient. I've got other dongles in here as well. This one is for, I believe, Mopar, like for, uh, yeah, um, Dodge. I've got, um, you know, this one. I've got, um, these are uh, fuse, fuse holders. I've also got um, the VX Diag dongles, which you've seen in my other videos. They're usually in here. I took them out to do, to do some other testing. And, um, of course I have the, uh, Altel J2534 in there, um, that, you know, comes with the IM608 that I also use with this laptop to program sometimes. I also keep a, um, tire pressure monitor reset tool right here. I took it out. It's in the car. Um, but, uh, it's very handy as well. If you need to reset tire monitors or program them or whatnot, um, I'll have a link to that. It's going to be on the next video. This, this one is just way too long. Yeah. Finally is the, uh, the tablet for the Diag. So it comes with Diag Zone Pro. Um, so, uh, like I said, uh, right now there's the packages are not installed, but, uh, if you're interested in this tool, this is like, this is what I use. Basically, uh, you would get all the packages, all the software, um, and I can show you some screenshots. Um, like I said, they're not active. You'd have all European cars, Asian, Chinese, uh, American, and all that stuff. And you can uh, do diagnostics, uh, reports, all the stuff that you know you would expect from a uh, a scanner. You'd be able to do all of that. And I believe you're going to have either one year or two years of updates. Like I said, going to check the link and to see more details on that. Um, I'll have a link down there to purchase this. And you would also be supporting the channel. So um, like and subscribe and watch out for part two. I'm going to have more tools I use, the heavier tools that uh, pretty much stay in my trunk unless I got to pull them out. But these are the things that, you know, I will probably touch every day. Anything else you want to see that questions or whatnot, uh, leave it in the description. Um, I'm sorry, in the comments at the bottom and uh, see.